Hey, Scott Hauck here, and welcome to Module 2E, Abundance Magnet, within our Manifestation Accelerator Membership Program. I am very, very thrilled to bring today's content to you. It's going to be simple. It's going to be a little bit shorter than the average module you've been going through in Phase 1 and 2 so far in the Membership Program. Today's idea is tuning yourself into the infinite storehouse of riches. Most people in the world say, I want to create more abundance. I want to create a more prosperous life. But really what they're trying to do and really the correct term is tuning into the abundance they seek, tuning into the more full bank account. And in today's lesson, in today's content, you should be really excited because we're going to go through some more advanced techniques on allowing yourself to align more with the prosperous thinking, which will in turn bring you more financial physical results faster and increasing the speed of your own desired manifestations. Not only this one, but as we go through module 2F, 2G, 2H, we're going to really start dipping into faster, stronger, and bigger manifestations key ideas and simple, easy steps that are going to allow you to really carry forward at a faster rate than you're going now, but not overwhelming. It's going to be easier and more simple since you've already gone through so much to this point in this membership site. All right. So let's rock and roll right into this exciting module. I think you're going to really be blown away by how we're going to do these simple actions that should change your feeling around money in a very, very huge way. Again, which brings faster, better, stronger financial results. So as I just mentioned, this module is just a little shorter, a little sweeter, and that's okay. That will allow you to apply the content just a little bit easier, and a little bit better this week. So as we get into it, this phase two concept of money transformation, as we have gone through in the last four modules, I just want you to take a look at the money on the screen here. Think about what it would feel like to have all this money in your possession. Maybe see in your mind even you counting out the money and what that would feel like. So go ahead and take five seconds here and just take a look at this money. I hope you're loving doing this and I know sometimes it's like, wow, we just keep looking at the same slide, but really remember the idea of this course. This course isn't like anything else. We're not here to just provide you tons more information or recycled information from a book or YouTube video. What this course is here to allow you to do is actually have a money consciousness better than ever manifest results get tangible physical items or desired events and happenings into your life. And the only way we're going to do that is not by learning more, but actually thinking in terms of money and abundance. And that's what these slides are designed to do. So let's rock it right in. Uh, a couple of quick reminders as usual. Just remember, number one, you want to listen into this module a little bit every day. Remember, you don't need to listen to the whole thing, just a little bit every day. Remember, stay focused on our Facebook group. We got you covered. Myself and my team are there to help you and make sure you're posting your wins, your questions, and supporting each other as you'll get more support in return. And then number three, just remember, stick to this for life. Keep going forward. Keep thinking of peak manifestations, especially because in phase three and phase four, I'm going to actually give you items and things that are like tools that we've not gone over that are actually online tools and things to help you actually with peak performance in your business peak performance also in your personal life and actually having increased energy, increased happiness and all the other desired manifestations also outside of money. So things are going to really steadily pace forward. And after a year of going through this, you're going to look back and you won't even recognize your money situation. You won't even recognize who you used to be 12 months ago. So we'll keep unfolding this process together as we are united with our soul tribe in our community. Okay, so here's what we're going to cover in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches, opulence thinking exercise, and the action items. Let's jump into it right away. So being in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches, as you're going to tell throughout this module, you're going to see a lot of water, rivers, streams, as you've been kind of seeing in the last couple of modules as well. We want to act almost like water when it comes to money, more flow more ease, more going downstream. Downstream means easy, means effortless, means flow. Where most people are trying to pedal upstream and it's really, really hard sometimes, right? You get all that tension and that resistance and that's really the art of thinking about poverty or lack or circumstance. Where going downstream is the easiest, the flowing way around money. Let's jump right into it. 
There's a phenomenal quote by Ralph Waldo Trine in his book, In Tune with the Infinite. We're going to go through two different paragraphs here. Here's the first one. There is the spirit of infinite plenty, the power that has brought, that is continually bringing all things into expression in material form. He or she who lives in the realization of his or her oneness with this infinite power becomes a magnet to attract to himself or herself a continual supply of whatever things he or she desires. This is a very powerful quote. I know there's a lot going on here. Let's break it down just a bit, and we're going to go through the actual how. How do I align myself with what I truly want? But let's just go step by step through this one more time. Uh, this is really going to be a beneficial thing for you to just really deliberately study this and become the idea. There is. So basically, we are accepting an idea that there is a spirit of infinite plenty. What does that really mean? It just means that instead of accepting the idea that there's lack in my life or that there's uh, poverty in my life, I want to start accepting the idea that there is a spirit of infinite plenty. There is an energy, there is a universe that will supply me of all the desires I could ever imagine, money or other things, love or happiness or whatever it is. But there is an infinite plenty for everybody, myself and everybody else included. Continuing forth, the power that has brought, that is continually bringing all things into expression into or in material form. So what we're saying here is there's like one power, there's a consciousness. It's what people call the universe. And this universe has created all things. All the material things around you, the money, if there's things, if you're sitting in your office, the office chair, the living room furniture, whatever it is, all of this stuff, this material things that we call, you know, tangible physical items was created by one infinite substance, the, the creator of all, if you will. Again, you can, you can accept these ideas. You can reject the ideas. It's, it's really whatever you want to do. We're not saying you have to believe one thing or another, another ever. But really, we just want to start accepting ideas that are going to help you actually generate a lot more money, a lot more income, and manifest what you desire. He who lives in the realization of his oneness with this infinite power, so basically accepting and recognizing the idea that you are the universe itself, you are an extension of that, a spiritual being living in this physical body with a mind becomes a magnet to attract to himself or herself a continual supply of whatever soever things he desires or she desires. So basically, if you accept the idea that you're a spiritual being and you live in harmony with that idea, which I'm going to show you how to do in this module, you're going to become a magnet for a lot of good. And the cool thing about this is he says continual supply. The supply is never going to run out. You're going to earn a lot more money. You're going to have a lot more clientele or whatever other desires you have in your life. It never runs out. It's a continual supply. This is a fabulous, fabulous quote. I have it available for pinup. We'll go through that together. But this is a great, great, deep understanding of the spiritual side of you and understanding that money is also spiritual and connecting the two together. So. How do you live in the realization of your oneness with this infinite power? Well, he just mentioned here. How do we do that? Or what I call being in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches. It's the same thing there. How do we do that? What, what do we need to do so that we can become the magnet of continual supply of all the desires that you and I and everybody else wants? How do we do that? Well, he says, if one holds themselves in the thought of poverty... They will be poor, and the chances are that they will remain in poverty. If one holds themselves, whatever present conditions may be, continually in the thought of prosperity, they set into operation forces that will sooner or later bring them into prosperous conditions. So this is how. And then we're going to actually go into the how to like the action items in this module, just as we always do. I got you covered so we can actually apply this together. But this is kind of the next step. Let's go through it one more time. If you hold yourself in the thought of poverty, poverty doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a dollar to your name. Poverty can mean like poverty thinking. 
right? So if you hold yourself in the thought of money's slow to come, money's hard to manifest, there's never enough. All those thoughts are poverty, poverty thinking. Okay. They will be poor. Again, we're not saying like a beggar on the street poor, but what we're saying is the person that doesn't have as much as they want, right? They want more, but they don't have it. And the chances are that they will remain in poverty. Now, here's where you really, really want to zone in here. Focus in as best you can. If you hold yourself, whatever present conditions may be, meaning if you hold yourself in the continual thought of prosperity, even if your bank account is low, even if you haven't had a sale in a week, even if blank, 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 okay, whatever the present conditions may be, and you continually in the thought of prosperity, you set into operation forces that will sooner or later bring you into prosperous conditions. So the thought of prosperity is thinking things like there is plenty for me and everybody else. Money comes to me very quickly. Money flows to me easily. Money is one of the easiest things to manifest into my life. Right? Those thoughts might not be true physically. See what he's saying there? Even if the present conditions are contradicting the thought of prosperity, if you think in terms of prosperity, even if your conditions are not prosperous, you set into operation the universe, the forces that will sooner or later bring you into prosperous conditions. Now, we've went through this for many, many modules now that we understand that affirmations aren't always true physically just yet our five-step manifestation process. When you visualize, it doesn't mean it's always true right now physically, but we have to think it true now in order for it to become physically true. And that's what he's mentioning. Again, this quote also is available on the pinup. I put both of these quotes together so you can put this up on your wall and, and really keep this uh, in, in the back of your mind pretty much every day forever. But we really just want to start thinking prosperous thoughts. And this is a beautifully, beautifully written couple of paragraphs here by Ralph Waldo Trine. Thought is the connecting link between the spiritual energetic realm and the physical tangible realm. This is an idea you might want to write down and rewrite every single day. And maybe not always, you know, writing it 50 times, but you might just want to write it out. You might want to brainstorm or meditate on this idea. Thought is the connecting link between the vibrational side of you, the spiritual, the universe, all those words, and the physical, tangible realm, the one you're looking at through the, your physical eyes. You're looking at the screen that you're, and, and you're listening right now into this content. It's the connecting link. So if I want a prosperous condition, like you want more money in your bank account to come forward, I got to have the thought of prosper prosperous condition and that will connect the universe to the physical and that shall come because remember it goes from the higher plane to the lower spirit mental physical okay it's not physical mental spirit it's spirit mental physical higher plane to the lowest plane that's how this stuff moves the currency of the universe is thought itself that's a really really good one so the currency of the universe is in dollars or pesos, or euros, or Canadian dollars, or pound sterling. I mean, you can name any currency. It, it's not gold. The currency of the universe is thought. So if I want to tell the universe I want more money, I got to I gotta be on that match of that same currency with the universe. I got to tell the universe through my thought. A prosperous thought means prosperous riches to the universe, not the actual tangible cash or, or money per se. The currency of the universe is thought itself. Another beautifully written idea here. So I know I'm giving you a lot to think about. And like I mentioned, I hope you're really excited for this module. It goes really deep, but I think you'll really begin to understand where we're taking this. So again, how do you live in the realization of your oneness with the infinite power or what I call being in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches? You hold yourself, whatever present conditions may be, continually in the thought of prosperity. Those thoughts set into operation forces that will sooner or later bring you into prosperous conditions. So I said the same quote here, but I just said it differently. I wrote it differently. I put color on here just so you can see it differently and maybe saw it in a different way the second time through. Another key idea here is continually. 
It's not me thinking of poverty or lack conditions for two months and then once a, you know, in a blue moon, I'm thinking in terms of prosperity, it's got to be a continuous thing. And the exercises that we're going to do towards the end of this module will help you in the continuous thought of prosperity. Really, really good. You're doing a great job understanding this. This is very, very deep work. But if you're really grabbing onto this, there's not many other deeper works out there for you to really, really absorb and clue into, meaning the answers that you're receiving right here are within you. It feels maybe truthful. It feels right. It feels like home. And if any of these ideas are even giving you goosebumps or excitement, it's in harmony with you. It's, you're in resonance with it. So that's why it's a really good idea that you want to take home, understand, meditate on. So let's get in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches right now. A couple of notes that we need to take just before. Number one, all money is energy and vibrational. We've went through that during the past couple of modules. But again, these are great pointers to remember just before we do our exercise for today. So all money is energy and vibrational. You are a vibrational energetic being. A vibrational reality exists with everything you could ever, ever desire. We're going to go through this a little bit deeper in phase two. We're going to understand vibrational realities and how to connect with them. Okay. But we just want to understand that there's an energy universe that does exist. Number four, when we say infinite, we truly mean infinite, meaning no end to the supply. Number five, infinite or God or universe or whatever you want to call a higher power or inner being has no limitation whatsoever. And that same energy is within you. Okay, very important. So we just want to remember all things are possible for the infinite, for God, the universe. And we are a, an extension of that oneness, that one energy. Number six, when we say tune into we just mean matching the frequency between you and the idea. So again, like I mentioned, we're tuning into abundance. How do you do that? You have abundance type thinking. Number seven, how do you match the frequency of any idea or how do you tune into it? You think thoughts in harmony with the idea. Remember thought is the connecting link. So if I want to tune into prosperity, think prosperous ideas. If I want to tune into love, think loving ideas. If I want to tune into feeling happy, think of happy ideas. Remember, thoughts induce emotion. So if I want to feel happy, think thoughts that are happy. How do you do that? Well, you find good in the world. You write down some positive aspects of what's going on well in your day or in a person that you're thinking of, right? Just truly connect with that inside of you in your thought, and you shall feel that way. And that will also produce circumstances in harmony with what you feel. So these are great notes. You could take a screenshot of this or just write it in your notes. But these are great setups for what we're about to do and go into. Let's get in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches right now. Okay. Now, you see like a little bank vault here. This time I didn't do any drawings myself. This is one I found on the beautiful internet that we have all, we all have access to. This little vault, it is supposed to be kind of shady. Uh, not, not shady is a bad thing. I'm saying shady. The image is not crystal clear. It's not a high quality image. Um, it's kind of like the colors are off a little bit. It looks kind of fake almost, like a video game picture rather than a real life picture. This is deliberate. We actually want this type of image because what we want to do is pretend this is our imagination. We don't need to pretend it's physical right now. We don't need to see an actual bank in this world. We want to see this exact image or something very similar in our imagination. You can see the infinite gold bars right here, there, stacks and stacks of cash over on the left-hand side there. It doesn't matter what currency you have, your home country, that's there in that vault. I just want you to pretend for a moment. As we're pretending, we're going to go through the following seven steps, and this is going to be the exercise for today. Don't worry, I'm going to come back to this image, and I also have this available for pinup as well. So you can uh, go ahead and download this, print it out, make it your screensaver on your computer, you know, whatever it is that you feel good about. Let's go through the steps, then we're going to apply the exercise together. As always, I got you covered. So in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches, this is what I call opulence thinking exercise. Step number one. Close your eyes and picture yourself going to a storehouse of riches 
in your imagination. Use a photo provided as the imaginary bank fall, even though we know it's not infinite, we can pretend it's restocking every day. So like when you go in here, you say like, oh, what if I grab all the cash, right? In my mind, we'll just realize the next day, all that cash is replenished. You don't even have to do anything. Okay, so we're just gonna say it's infinite. Um, you don't have to picture an infinite source that might be hard to see or think of in your mind, but just realize it's being restocked every day. So we're kind of playing like a little game. Step number two, look around at the infinite riches within there and realize those riches are yours. So we're gonna say that this is your infinite storehouse. All this is yours right now. I hope we're really getting excited. Now, sure, I know we're pretending. Right now in this physical world, you might not have a bank vault full of gold bars and cash. I get it. But when you pretend, you're thinking in terms of that. And that will make you feel good. That will make you feel excited and realize, wow, those are mine in my imagination right now. So realize those are already yours. Step number three, you can take as much as you'd like whenever you please. The storehouse replenishes the riches daily, so you'll never run out. So step number three, you don't really have to do anything, but realize once again, take as much as you please. You're worthy and deserving of all of it. It's, it's yours, right? It's not anybody else's, so you can take as much as you want. Step number four, take a certain amount of money from the storehouse. See in your mind saying thank you to the universe and it's saying back, you're welcome. All the riches I have ever created are yours for the asking and walking out of the vault. So basically what you're going to be doing is closing your eyes, see this in your imagination. Again, it doesn't have to be an exact replica of the storehouse, but you just want to see yourself going into your imaginary bank vault. It's yours. Grab some gold bars, grab some cash, whatever you want. You can even bring in a little duffel bag or a book bag and fill the book bag with lots of cash and gold bars. Okay, You can do that because all this is yours. And as soon as you pick it all up, talk to the universe and just say, thank you, universe. And hear the universe saying something like, it doesn't have to be word for word, but something like, you're very welcome. All the riches I have ever created are yours for the asking. Right? You just see this in your mind. You hear it in your mind. And then you walk out of the vault. Step number five, in your imagination, play with the money, throw it around, maybe save it somewhere, deposit it into your bank account. So you're going to walk into your vault, you're going to grab the money, you're going to talk to the universe, you're going to walk out, and then in your mind, pretend like you're at home. Count the money, play with the money, throw it up in the air and say, Yahoo, hooray, whatever it is that you want, just something to get you really excited. Go to the bank, deposit some money. Okay, but some uh, hidden away somewhere because it feels good to have $100,000 in cash in your sock drawer. You know, whatever it is that would be exciting for you. Okay. Number six, feel into the fun of money. How awesome it feels to be in possession of a lot of it. Okay. So just tell yourself that's okay if I'm pretending right now. Okay. See in your mind what you want and say, wow, this is fun. Feel the presence of the money. Feel how good it feels to have all that money. And step number seven, after a few minutes of playing this game through steps number one through steps number six, open your eyes up and come back to this world, if you will, this reality. It should take about two to four minutes total uh, each time you do this exercise. Okay. But basically what we're doing, what's the purpose of this? Remember we went through this. I'm just going to go back to this really quick. Holding yourself continually in the thought of prosperity. It doesn't mean go out there and work 18 hours today, okay? It doesn't say in order for you to actually produce prosperous conditions and more money in your bank, it doesn't mean go out there and uh, just you know, try to negotiate to get $100,000 from somebody today from a loan so you can count the money. What did he talk about here? Think in thoughts of prosperity, Absolutely, action is always part of the process. We went through that in the last two modules. You're going to find inspiring ideas. You need to build your business. You're going to want to go out there and find a new job if that's your life path direction, right? You're going to want to actually have inspired action. If you're an online business owner, you might do live webinars. You might go out there and do things. Or if you're in a brick and mortar business, you're going out there and making new deals, new marketing, new advertising, whatever that may be, right? Absolutely, action is part of the process. But what we're talking about here is the first step 
is continually holding the thought of prosperity. What a beautiful exercise this is right here, how to hold the thought of prosperity. Go to your infinite storehouse that's already yours. See yourself in possession of a lot of money. Feel the feeling of the presence of money. I'm telling you, this is an exercise that will blow you away if you follow the seven steps here. The, the money that comes to you expectedly or unexpectedly, the things that come to you, the results, the business success, it will be stunning. Now, I don't want you to think that it just works like magic. As we always say, don't open your eyes and, and expect you know eight gold bars sitting on your desk out of thin air. Remember, manifestation is not magic. It doesn't happen out of thin air. Okay. Remember, the quote says, you'll start in motion the force that will produce prosperous conditions for you to actually have. It doesn't say things are going to pop out of thin air. It doesn't say by tonight you're going to have a million dollars. What it does say is understand that it's going to set in motion the forces that will help you to produce prosperous conditions. I really want to hammer that point home because it's very important to, because then you'll worry and doubt if you, if you really don't get that grasp of that understanding, we want to understand this is not magic. It doesn't pop out of thin air. I'm not turning my microwave into a microphone. I'm not turning my light bulb into a cup of water. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a superhero magic wise. What I am doing though, is setting in motion conditions, circumstances, and situations for me to have what I'm thinking about most of my day. Very powerful understanding there. All right. So before we go into our action items, so we're going to do this actually together. So go ahead and go to the uh, PDF section, the download section. I print the two pinups right away. I know we usually don't do those right away, but we're going to do those. The first pin up here is the infinite storehouse. So if you have a printer, I'd print this out. If not, just keep this as a download on your computer. Like I mentioned, use it as wallpaper on your phone or your laptop. That'll work just fine. So go ahead and do that. And then also we have a pin up here with the two quotes. Okay. And again, this was quoted by Ralph Waldo trying. So you know where the information is coming from. Okay, but I would go ahead and print out these two pinups. This one is most important while we're doing the exercise. Okay. Now we're gonna go back over here to actually the worksheet. And you'll see at the very top there, so go ahead and print this one out as well, or just download it and write in your journal. Get in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches, phase two, week 17, module two E abundance magnet. Here's day number one. There's no directions because the directions are pretty thoroughly explained in the actual days itself themselves. Okay. But action item number one is this seven step process. We're actually going to go through this together. I'm not going to read this out loud because I just uh, read it. It's, it's the same copy and paste that you just saw on the slide, but I added in also magic, uh, not magic mu music on is optional, but suggested. Okay, so we're going to actually do this together day number one here and now I got music ready and prepared, but you're really going to want this in front of you so you can have that ready to go. I'm going to guide you through this as the music's on. So let's go over to the music right now. And you'll see this, this actual uh, YouTube video. This is available under the about section. You'll see the link to this YouTube uh, music himself. We actually use this once or twice already in phase one and two. Uh, it's really powerful manifestation music. Okay, so I'm going to guide you by keeping this right here on the screen. Okay, remember and go ahead and start now. We won't put on the music just yet, but go ahead and close your eyes. Do this with me again. Remember, do the exercises the best you can with me. Uh, don't try and wait till tonight or in a week from now. We all know that by procrastinating, it never happens. It, it just never happens. So go ahead and make sure you're in a quiet place here and now. I would encourage you to put headphones on if you can. If not, that's okay as well. But let's go through these seven steps together here and now. So go ahead and close your eyes and call forth a picture onto the screen of your imagination, the storehouse of riches. Think about that imaginary bank vault. Do you see it in your mind? If you need to go ahead and open your eyes up really quick and, and relook at the image that you just printed out, the, the one that we've already talked about, that bank vault that I showed you. Just take a look at that. 
take a look at the gold bars and the cash and then close your eyes again and go ahead and recall that image on the screen of your mind the best you can. Again, it doesn't have to be accurate or exact, but you just really want to clue in and align with something similar. Step number two, keep your eyes closed here. I want you to look around at the infinite riches. And I want you to realize these riches are yours. These riches that you're seeing in your mind, they're yours right now. I want you to get really excited. Step number three, I want you to realize that you can take as much as you'd like because the infinite storehouse is yours and it replenishes the riches daily. So you'll never run out. I want you to see that in your mind that says, yes, this is all mine. I could take my fair share. It's never going to run out because it's going to be replenished daily. I want you to think about that thought. All this is mine. Put a smile on your face. How exciting is that? The universe does indeed have your back. It's got you covered. Step number four, I want you to take a certain amount of money from the storehouse, see it in your mind. So you might take a book bag full of four gold bars. Don't worry, they don't weigh too much. Okay. And you might take a stack of $20,000 in cash. Put that right in your book bag right now. Or in your arms if you want to carry it. Or a duffel bag. Or maybe it's even a cart that has wheels so it's easy to cart around. I want you to pretend and have fun with this. So go ahead and take as much money as you like. Put it on your cart or your book bag or in your arms. All right. I want you to say thank you to the universe. What a gift this is that the universe is giving this to you. It's yours. Say thank you, universe, inside your mind. Thank you. Now I'm going to pretend I'm the universe, so I'm going to say it right back to you. You're welcome. All the riches I have ever created are yours for the asking. I hope that feels really good. That was the universe just talking to you. Now I want you to take that cart full of money or that book bag full of money and realize it's okay. You're worthy of it. You're deserving of it. It's, it's yours. Why, why wouldn't you be worthy and deserving of it? I want you to really believe that. It's all yours. It's okay. It's okay to have your fair share of money. It's okay to have plenty. It's okay to be abundant. You're going to be able to give all this to your family if you want to, or your friends, or yourself. Whatever you want to do with the money, you can do it. It's okay. And realize everybody in the world has their fair share. They all have their infinite storehouse. You're not taking away from them. They all got infinite too. What a cool idea this is. I want you to walk out of that vault and I want you to picture yourself back at your home. Could be your office, could be your bedroom, could it be your living room, wherever you're at. And I want you to play with the money a little bit, throw it around. I want you to think about it, count it, store it somewhere. Maybe go to the bank and deposit the money. As you're doing this, I want you to feel into the fun of money. Just really feel how awesome it is. This money is yours and you're in possession of it. Keep your eyes closed. I'm about to put on the music for 60 seconds. Keep your eyes closed. Have fun with the money. Dance with the money. Throw it in the air. Hallelujah. Have a little parade. Whatever you'd like to do, go ahead and do that now for 60 seconds. Okay, and if you want to have a little bit more time, keep your eyes closed and go ahead and just feel into all of this. If you really want to keep going for another couple of minutes, just go ahead and open your eyes very briefly and pause the video here to allow yourself a little bit more time. If you're ready, though, and you feel really good and that was such a fun exercise, go ahead and open your eyes up and come on back to the content here. It's done. We did about two to four minutes, and you can place an X right there on that little line. I see place an X here when complete. This is one of the funnest exercises I have ever went through myself, and it really does generate brilliant feelings around money. I really am just so excited, like I mentioned, to really provide this technique to you. I never found this out from anybody. It was just an idea that came inspired to me. And I worked it and worked it and worked it. And I experimented with it and I tried it out myself. And it helped me change so much my relationship around money and really understanding and believing it's okay for me to have a lot of money. 
It's okay for me to be worthy and deserving of uh, endless money, if you will. It's okay to understand and accept the idea that there's infinite amounts of money and it's all available to me right now. And it's available to everybody in their own infinite storehouse. I hope you really enjoyed this exercise and certainly uh, you're going to be doing this every day. So if I just scroll down, I know we have these action items we'll go through, but we have day one here. We have day two, day three. As you could tell, it's all the same. If you'd like, replay this module at this certain point. And if you liked my guided kind of meditative visualization right there, going through the seven steps, definitely feel free to go through this once again. You can also do it yourself. You'll get used to these seven steps. So you'll really remember each step and in, in what to do. Um, in this, but I hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions, of course, in our Facebook group about that. Let's finish up by going through step number or action item number two here. That's all we want to say is out loud. I'm in tune with the infinite as much as you can throughout your day. I know 200 times sounds a lot. You don't even necessarily have to count. It's kind of just a rough estimate. Um, you know, it really takes one, two, three seconds to say that out loud. I just want this in your thoughts throughout your day and throughout your week. It's really going to make a very, very big difference in your alignment with you, your happiness, and really your peace and calmness around money and business success, all that good stuff. So go ahead and just really say within or or without, meaning uh, saying it out loud, I'm in tune with the infinite. You can always use tallies if you do want to hit 200 times. I, I wouldn't do 200 times in a row, but I'd split it up throughout the day. You might do 10 sets of, of 20 times saying it out loud, something like that. But again, it's a rough estimate. Just say it as much as possible and then place an X there when it's done. And keep up with your client attraction manifesto. We did that in the last module. That was a brilliant exercise as well. So go ahead and do that in the morning. Hopefully that's still hanging up on your mirror or your office. We're going to do that for another seven days. So we make it at least 14 days that we're doing that client attraction manifesto. Once that's done in the morning, go ahead and place an X there. If you want to do it in the evening as well before bed, totally okay to do it. But it's not uh, not needed because you're doing so much else as well. As I mentioned, all the days here are the same. So you'll get really used to doing this exercise. All right. As we already mentioned, we have the pinups available. And then we also have one more thing. As always, week 17 plan. If this helps you out to kind of stay on track, what do I need to do during this week? Watch this module just a little bit every day, five to ten minutes. Uh, really become the knowledge as best you can. Do the in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches worksheet every day, following the seven steps and the three total action items provided, and then print the pinups and hang them up where you can see them every day. And we got module 2F unlocked in seven days, which is going to be an amazing module. You're going to really shoot off like a rocket. Cool. Okay, let's go back to our slide here, and that's really going to call it. Uh, day here, we just have our action items, which we just went through, but in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches. This is just a mega idea, and this is a module you might want to save. You might want to write in your notes to come back to this. I really gave you something that I charged twenty or thirty thousand dollars to give these to my private clients. Uh, that's definitely not a joke. It's not. It's not made up. I have a very high level program where people pay me upwards of two to three thousand a month in order to uh, personally coach them on some of these ideas. And these are the exact exercises I provide them. So, you know, for a very, very tiny investment in this membership site, you're really getting some exercises, ideas, and things that will change your life like night and day. Things will surely um, rock it forward. And we're really not even, we're not even done. We're, we're just getting started in this. So feel at ease and feel fun and say, you know, this is going to be something I can work on for the rest of my life and stay subscribed forever on this membership site. So you have these tools forever. You have these monthly access to the events and everything else that we do, but really keeping yourself in tune with the infinite storehouse of riches is a conscious decision and going through this exercise will help you. So superbly, you know, keeping yourself aligned with those riches, you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you for accepting your calling. What I mean by that is if you're living your dream or you're going out there and you're actually practicing these ideas, thank you. Now that might sound weird. You're saying, why are you thanking me for actually doing the exercise in my life, right? I'm thanking you from a higher side. I want to thank you for accepting your calling. I want to thank you for trying to become the best version of you every day. I want to thank you for doing the work that's needed in order for you to shift your consciousness in your overall life. You're doing an extraordinary job. And don't forget the action items and the things you're doing today are not only affecting you in the future, 
they're going to change the entire course of your family's life, the people around you, bigger and better than ever. Keep shining your light, and it will help others shine theirs. I look forward to seeing you in the next module, absolutely. As well as if you have any questions, ideas, wins, or support that you need during this time or encouragement, go ahead and post right into our community group right there, and we'll definitely help you as soon as we can. Sending a light and blessings to you. I look forward to seeing you in the next module.